All right, welcome back. A very special episode of See It, Rent It, Skip It this morning. Our movie critic from FatGuysAtTheMovies.com, Kevin Carr, is joining us. Great to see you. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. I hope it's not a very special episode in the family ties. <laughs> no, that's what I... Different strokes sort of way. The after school special. No, I hope not. <laughs> no, this is a neat, a neat one because you're not talking about new movies as much as the five best movies of 2009 in your view. Yes. Um, starting with number five, uh, Star Trek. Yes. Now, you'll realize this is not your typical critic. I'm not like going, yeah. oh, the blind side and... You know, Julie and Julia and all, all the Oscar stuff. I'm going for the the mainstream movies. Star Trek I thought was fantastic and why I thought it was so great was because it brought in new fans. It showed a, a vision of Star Trek you didn't have to remember from the series. You could go in completely cold. You could, you could know everything about the series yeah. and still love it. And it was very well acted. I just watched it again on DVD like last week and it was incredibly exciting and a lot of fun. Yeah, there's some new names in this movie. I think Chris Pine yeah. uh, there. Captain had, Kirk. Did he do well as Captain Kirk? Yeah, what's funny is when they first announced the casting, I was like, oh, this isn't going to work. And then yeah. I saw it. I was totally sold. Okay, so Star Trek is your fifth best movie of the year. Yes. All right, number four, uh, getting into sci-fi here a little bit more, District 9, uh, just out on DVD and selling pretty well. Yeah, absolutely. And this one, what I liked about this is it was somewhat of a mix between a little bit of an art film and a big budget sci-fi movie. It was $30 million, but it was, it's this weird little story about aliens that land in South Africa, and then they, they try and move them because they're too close to the city. And, 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 it, and it deals with some real issues, and it is actually is an, uh, an allegory of something that did happen in South Africa, not with aliens, but, right. you know, with, with trying to move a, a slum and, and, and the problems that, that come from that. And so it shows a lot of social issues, and, and it also has a big, big explosions and aliens and guns, so why not? <laughs> yeah, all right. All right, number three, Kevin, for a uh, third best movie of the year, in your view, is the animated uh, Fantastic Mr. Fox. Yes. Which was a stop motion. Yeah, stop motion directed by Wes Anderson, who did Royal Tenenbaums and uh, you know movies like Rushmore and that sort of thing, and it's a, it's based on a uh, a book by uh, <clears throat> uh, the guy who wrote Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Right. And it's it's a fantastic story, and I love the stop motion. I love that it brought this back into the mainstream, and, and it's a it's a sweet little movie, uh, and it's just very artistically done, and it's it's a piece of art. All right. Um, next up, Coraline, which a lot of people I think did not go and see initially. Well, it came out way back, almost a year ago. It came out in February, so mm -hmm. people may have forgotten about it. It's another stop-motion film by Henry, uh, Henry Selleck, who did uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. And so okay. it looks fantastic, and it, it really kind of tells a unique story about a little girl who, who finds a portal to another world. And I, I love this sort of animation stuff, and I really thought that with the way things went to CGI so long ago, it's brought back this artistry of the stop-motion. All right, well, you must like animated films, because your <laughs> number one pick, best movie, of the year, according to Kevin Carr, is Up. Up is absolutely the best movie of the year. Pixar is one of the best movie studios out there. This is the 10th film in a row, the 10th hit. It was a great movie. The first 10 minutes of this movie are going to make you cry. Yes. And it has everything you need. It has story, it has character, it has action, it has art. It is a beautiful movie. Uh, directed by Pete Doctor, and you know it's it's another hit from Pixar. Wally was my favorite from last year. So okay, you like those animated movies? At yep. this point, we we tell you to rent them all because they're not in theaters anymore. <laughs> Kevin Carr from FatGuysAtTheMovies.com. Looking forward to 2010 and a whole new bunch of movies. Absolutely. All right, see you.